Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Vault Hunters. In between episodes, I did a little bit of a stream where we went ahead and crafted three vault crystals right here, as you can see, and we even have the recipe for the fourth one right there. However, I didn't make more than three because they do have the level that you're currently on when you craft it. So all of these are level six, and I didn't want to make a bunch that are just gonna be level six in case we level up a bunch today. So with that done and said, the pouch. The pouch, uh, this is not efficient. <laughs> However, what I'm about to do is... So I'm going to do the same thing as I did before. I'm going to go ahead and take a bunch of the types of items that I get a lot of. So Knowledge Essence, Eternal Soul, Vault Diamonds... Yeah, a bunch of this stuff. And with all these things, I can open up the pouch and I can add everything to this inventory. Just one of each. We will be taking them out again. I do want to add a few more things. So Chromatic Steel... Uh, steel nuggets and these. And that should be good right there. So what I can go ahead and do is actually let's add a few more things maybe. Just to fill out the spaces. Now it's completely full. Now we go to backpack settings and we go to slot memory. Select all slots and save settings to slot 1. And boom. That's that done. I can now remove these and as you can see the items are staying in here. So now the backpack is only going to pick up those things that are in the backpack. So that is how you do it more efficiently than I did in the last episode. Boom. But I think without any further ado, we should drop into a vault. Because if you didn't watch the last episode, things didn't go... It didn't go to plan. Let's put, let's put it that way. <laughs> it didn't go to plan at all, but hopefully today is the day where it does. Also, I went ahead and I expanded this area here and I removed the glass because I thought it looked ugly. I think this is looking a little bit better. So let's jump right in. Really quickly before we jump into our first vault, 69.2% of you guys watching in the past 28 days are actually not subscribed. Really quickly before we jump into our first vault, 69.2% of you guys watching in the past 28 days are not actually subscribed. So if you could take a second to hit that subscribe button down below, that would be amazing. Thanks. I want to reach 7,500 before the end of the year. Let's not jump right in. I've almost forgot building blocks. I need a checklist. I need a checklist. Okay, now let's jump right in. Oh dear, what do we have here? Furious plus 20% mob damage. Wealthy though, plus one set of coin stacks. Okay. I'm worried about the, the mob damage one because, uh, again, last episode didn't go great, but... But we'll take it, we'll take it as a, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Oh, you should be picking up coins. Oh, yeah, uh, if you do this, make sure that backpack is set to block here and not accept because that turns it into a whitelist, which is not what we want. Oh, I forgot my axe. And I forgot to make another block as well. I will do that before we run into the next vault. There's a lot of coin piles. I will not com- wow. I will not complain though. Ooh, gilded chests. Didn't even see those. Oh. Whew. Okay. That one was a bit too close for comfort. More diamond though. Oh. You know, I knew it. Kinda. <laughs> I'm on a really bad roll. Okay. To be fair. To be fair. The mobs did 20% more damage, so that's probably what killed me. Also, now I have the opportunity to bring my axe, as well as potentially make a magnet. It's uh, kind of expensive. That's kind of expensive, actually. I don't even think I have enough to make it. I have just enough. Good. All right. No more messing about. Are you kidding me? I still get furious. <laughs> And I get the same amount of monoliths. Okay. I see Laramar. Please. Good. And it's my silk touch pickaxe for once. I also see ornate chests in there. Ah, you're stuck. And I can break these now. I think the magnet should work. Oh, it has to be in the belt slot. That makes sense. You guys are deadly. I unfortunately found out the hard way. Oh, hello. 
Huh. Okay, that... That's sneaky. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that is very, very sneaky. Ooh, is that a coin pile, or is that gonna be gilded chests? That is gonna be gilded chests. And there's some to the right as well. Now time for a little bit of... Ha! Huh. They better not spawn on me. I think that was a fizzle spawner, though. So I th think I'm good. Yep. For a moment, I thought that was an archer. Oh, that's poison, and I walked straight into it. All right, next room. I feel like this is the one where I hopefully don't die. And I just remembered I forgot to make the block that you guys have been asking me for. <laughs> uh, I'm so sorry. I feel like breaking these. It's a lot more satisfying as well, picking up the items. I just wish my pickaxe was a little bit faster. I just have to upgrade it to efficiency 5. The magnet is doing wonders though. It does have a durability, but for now it seems to be holding up pretty well. I think that was that for the top side of things. Now to head downstairs. Ooh. Yes, monolith. I really hope I can complete one of the vault objectives soon. Oh, we have one of those things as well. But let's first click... Archer. They're deadly. Ah, it's a kill the mobs in the area thingy. question is, where are these guys? Oh, oh, hello. That scared me. That scared me quite a bit. There's a spawner in there. There's a spawner in there. Hold up, hold up. Pillaring is your friend in Vault Hunters. This is actually bad. I'm in a bad spot because I'm keeping the spawner alive. Oh, Archer Skeleton, Archer Skeleton, Archer Skeleton, Archer Skeleton. Get back, get back, get back. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back. I'm not going to make the same mistake I've done previously. No, baby. No, no. You will not be the death of me. I need to go over here. Oh, there's a spawn there. I'll activate this real quick. Build up. Okay, I'm surrounded by spawners. This is nothing new. Oh, I thought that was a... Oh, that was an archer. Okay, that thing continuously spawns as well. Oh. Spawn as well. Spawn as well. I may have to just... Yeah, I think I'm just gonna have to build on this. There's a lot of good chests though. Can I make a wall of doom? Uh... I can. Haha. <laughs> yeah, uh I think I'm just gonna move on. Maybe come back to it. I don't feel like dying again. That was kinda sick, not gonna lie. Ores. Laramar, anyone? I don't see Levermar, but I see others. Ah, oh, poison. Not what I needed. That's a pit of doom. Ooh, Levermar. Levermar. Need you guys to please go away. Fast. Alright, let's trigger it. Please be a fizzle spawner. It's not. Gorgonite! There are two Levermars here, and the Gorgonite. And Benutite, of course. That is a huge find. Ornate. Oop. <laughs> Creepers are scary. Alrighty. Next room, I think. Yeah. Ah. Hmm. If I see a clip of that in my Discord server in the forum section, you'll have to see what happens. Yeah, jo join the Discord if you haven't already. Um... Otherwise, you won't, you won't see what happens if someone does that. Aha, we're at the end. Perfect. My stuff. This is an interesting little pocket. <laughs> Perfect. Going down. What's that? Uh? That is a monolith. Ooh, monolith. I might, after this room, just... Okay, there's actually a lot of spawners here. Might, after this room, just focus on trying to get monoliths. Oh, hi. <laughs> if I can. And then only go for, like, gilded, living, and ornate chests. 
So we'll grab this stuff though. Now that I've cleared it and spent health and energy on it. Right, time to search for monoliths. That is objective number one right now. We have a peek here. Gilded chests. Ooh. Gilded chests. It's hard to... Uh-oh. I hear many things activating right now. But I am efficient. And I must search this place anyway. I've got another mud box. Oh no. That was close. Oh, I'm full. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good at all. <sighs> I'm living a risky life. Also five minutes remaining, unless I find two monoliths in two and a half minutes, I'm not gonna have enough time to come back home, which would not be ideal. But we're pretty good loot. Dying now would be stupid, so I'm not gonna do any stupid risks. I do believe if I go down here and then turn right, then I should be on the main path. I hope. If I understand my vault hunting navigation skills correctly. Just to see if there would be a... Why do I hear so many... No, 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 no. <laughs> That's too many. Well, that's an elite, that's an elite, that's an elite. Nope, 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 nope. That. Oh, that was scary. I heard so many of them. That was too many of them. Ay, ay, ay. They better not be following me. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think it's time to go home. I just I just want to go home. I, I, did, I don't care that there's three minutes remaining. I could have looted another room. I don't care. I, I want to go home. Please take me home. <laughs> All right, 3,400 XP, I'll take it. Honestly, I will take anything here at this rate because uh, I have lost the past four vaults. So that is actually this loot right here. Not too shabby, all things considered. And our pouch is filled with very cool and nice goodies. So we actually got two mod boxes. We got a few relic booster packs as well as some mystery boxes. I don't know if I have any in the shulker boxes. Uh, no, I do not. I do have one here, though. Let's see if we get something. Oh, I did. Relic fragment. Nice. Uh, that's a new one. That's a new collection right there. Mystery box. Iscalium. Diamonds. Iron. Okay. <laughs> but the Iscalium, though. That's nice. And a vault alloy. This is very useful. And because we got more Larimar, I believe that we now have enough. Oh, I only got two from those ores? Okay, but we, we still have enough. <laughs> we just have enough to make another pouch. However, I do need another bundle as well. So we're gonna need a few ingredients. So, bundle, like so, pouch. Oh yeah, need this, and then pouch number two. That is really good. Expensive, but I believe worth it. Because this will, oh, I need another, I'll need another pickup upgrade. Uh, don't have enough raw magnetite. Oh well, it, eventually. For now though, I don't want to waste any more time. We're gonna run. Another one. However, I am running out of blocks to use to building and marking. Vault numero... I forgot three in Spanish. Let's go. Ooh, lucky. Furious again? Are you kidding me? But lucky. That's good. Did I get my... Yes, I did get my one bucket. Good. <laughs> good. Okay, this might be an instantaneous bail. This might be an instantaneous bail. I... Okay, nah, I should be able to do this. I should be able to do this. I can do this. I can do this. Yep. Oh, hello. Nope, 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 nope. What are you? What are you? Baby spiders? I did not expect this. I did not expect this. Please heal. Okay, yeah, I can take this. I can, I can do this. Okay. I mean, that'll hopefully give me a bunch of XP. Yikes, though. Ooh, two monoliths. And hopefully that spawner don't... Sp uh, spider don't spawn again. You better not be... Okay, you're just normal spiders. Yeah, I don't like this room. 
I don't like this room at all. <laughs> I'm leaving the room. Not the vault, but the room. I really need to find vault armor. That is really something that I am lacking at the moment. Ooh, first monolith. First monolith. That is huge. I just need one more. And then we have that completed. Ooh, guild chest. That I will not say no to. This I will take. <gasps> monolith! Yes! Okay, I don't want to mess this up now. I really don't want to mess this up now and die. It'll be my first vault objective actually completed. Find the exit. Nice, so now, now all we have to do is leave. And then we'll get a crate of goodies. At least I hope. <laughs> nice, alright, let me find the main path so I know exactly where the exit is. And if I'm not... Yep. I'm on the right path right here. So I think if I just go back to the main starter room that I ran from because of the spiders, I didn't like the room. We're gonna go right or left. Let's go right. Man, I'm really happy. You're not supposed to be here. I'm really happy we found that uh, last monolith. That is huge. All right, now I can take my time to loot again. And of course, another very important part is not dying in the process. I hear a lot of bad things around this corner. Oh. I don't know what's down there. And to be honest, I'm not eager to find out. Actually, it looks like there's a room of some sort. Maybe I am eager to find out now. I'm scared it's gonna kill me. All right. Fine, what do we have here? This kills me, I will not be happy. Oh! Super room or something? If anything spawns here though, I'm dead, I'm so dead. This room is epic! I want a screenshot of this. That's how epic this is. Oh wow, okay, I gotta keep an eye on the minimap then. Oh, of course, of course. It's poisoned. <laughs> of course it is. Why not? I will take all of this though. I will take it all. I wonder if people watching were like, No, go in there. Go in there. You'll miss out on stuff. I'm glad I did. I love when they're easy to take out just like that. As well when it's a fizzle spawner. Alright, I think we're slowly reaching the end of this vault journey. Not a single vault armor piece though. Okay, four minutes remaining. I am kind of far away from home, so I think... I think I'm just gonna head... Oh no, which way was it? It's this way. I think I'm just gonna head home. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna head home now. Oh no, wait, this is going east. Yeah, I need to go south. I almost went the wrong way. Ah! Yep, I recognize this and there's a guy over there. I'm just gonna yeet past. All right, center room. Let's go home. We have space for the prize. I don't know what happens if the inventory is full. Just want to make sure. All right, take me home, please. All right, completed 7,377 vault XP. We got a monolith crate. We got 82 chests looted and 121 mobs killed. I want to see Elite Spider, 1,800 XP. I'll take it. I'll take it. Our first loot crate, ladies and gentlemen. That is sick. All right, but first things first, I need to sleep. Go through the loot. Huh, 15 knowledge essence, three vault diamonds. Not a bad trip. I don't know if I should open these mod boxes or not. I could get well, I could apparently get vanilla items, but I could also get anything from sophisticated backpacks, which I think it'll be more worth it to save the mod box for when I... Oh, we had five more knowledge sessions in here. For when we have other mods unlocked, like storage and things like that. We did get a mystery box, though. Containing emeralds. All right, a couple of things. One... We can place the coins if we wanted to, and I think I want to do that. Just because, oh, it's raining. Just because I think it would look kind of cool. So maybe if I add some deep slate, then we place some of these around. And maybe some more deep slate. Yeah, 
I think that I, th I think that works. Now, of course, we have our very first crate, which of course I definitely need to get a screenshot of because that's probably going in the thumbnail. <laughs> anyway, uh, I think you just right click this and it opens. I'm gonna take my magnet off for, for this one. Shift right click. Yep, shift right click. <gasps> Armor and a relic. Okay. Ooh, unidentified vault leggings, unidentified vault uh, fragment. Regret chunk. Refined carbon. Okay. <laughs> very, very interesting. Love it. So yeah, you no longer get the crate when you open it. You place it, you hold down shift and right click and boom, it explodes. And well, you see that, well, it doesn't explode, but it explodes with items. Let's see what this relic is. Please don't let it be a duplicate. It is not warrior relic. That is a new col collection as well. Excuse me? Can I please three th sleep through this? I don't like it. All right, now for the leggings. It's that scrappy plus. It basically whatever I get is going to be better than my netherite stuff. Rusty scavenger leggings. Ooh, six armor, 573 durability, and crit hit resistance, and plus eight mana, and knockback resistance. Okay, wait a minute. Can I? Right. So I love the prefix because I use mana a lot for healing and whatnot. Suffixes. Can I change? Can be used to remove random modifier. Uh, Reforge all prefixes and suffixes. I don't want to do that. Okay, so I think the way I understand this is I can remove a random modifier. So one of the implicits. I think it will remove one of those randomly, which I don't want to do because it's basically a 33 point, what is it, 339% or something like that for it to pick the six armor one. And I really, really don't want that to happen because look at this. Oh yeah. Just gotta get some unbreaking three on these and we're gonna be good to go. So that's amazing right there. Now the final thing that I want to craft, can I make this now? I don't think I can make this yet. Do I have enough mech, mech? Oh, I do have. Oh, no I don't. Need three more. Anyway, uh, <laughs> oh, I could use this one. I don't, wanna, I don't wanna do that. Let's not rush it. I have been requested for a long time now to make the bounty table, which you are absolutely right. I should make that. Uh, so I believe I need five chromatic iron ingots, one block of netherite, two vault essence, two vault essence, done. And I also need a loom. <laughs> Out of all things, I need a loom. We do have the netherite for it. And it is totally worth making this thing. Loom is just a few planks and some string. Hopefully I have the string, just about actually. And a loom has been made and then we can go ahead and remove this and boom. Bounty table. Now this thing is really cool. We're going to place it right there. Love the texture of it. And if we go in here, we have certain bounties or tasks we can do. So item discovery, find 33 volt essence in the vault. You can only have one active at a time. And to complete this, we would get 2734 volt XP, two mystery boxes and 40 volt bronze. Mine seven black opal ore in the vault. That might be very hard for us. It tracks your progress as well. However, we will get 1517 volt XP, chromatic steel ingots, skill essence and 35. Kill entity, kill husks in the vault. This, I'm gonna activate this right now, just like that, because we, we meet a lot of husks in the vaults and I think we'll be able to make this very easily. Definitely worth the knowledge essence and the Larimar gems. So now this is, there's no timer by the way for these, um, for when these run out. And yeah, now this is one of our, one of our bounties. And if we get a vault with husks, this will start counting. We should get it very easily and we'll get a bunch of Larimar and knowledge essence as well. We could abandon, not gonna do that. You can also reroll, uh, I think one of the random ones here. However, I'm not going to do that because I don't want it to mess up with the active one at the moment. So yeah, bounty board. Very cool. We also have one unspent skill point, which I kind of want to upgrade here. Current next is going to 
cost less mana, which would be really, really nice. However, I'm trying to think if <laughs> I'm trying to think if there's something else that I would rather have, like maybe speed or a critical strike. I think I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade here. Yep, because getting it down to 25 will be very, very nice. So, guys, I think with that. I'm going to call this an episode. I need to get on breaking three on my brand new leggings here. Hopefully in the next episode, we're going to unlock the next pouch. And hopefully we will complete this bounty, which I'm very excited for. Looks like we're back on track from... I died in four vaults in succession, basically. That it, It's been painful. But guys, like I said... I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, enable those notifications so you don't miss the next one. And I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, have a wonderful day. And until next time, goodbye. Yeah.